Mga kababayan, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, President Rodrigo R. Duterte. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, President Rodrigo Rua Duterte. We request everyone to please be seated as we start the part two of our program. To continue, we may call on Attorney Giling Mamundiung to introduce our guest of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Secretary Yasmin Busran Lau of the National Commission on Muslim Filipinos, Attorney Giling Wamujong, the uh, he will be the Secretary of TESDA. It is a cabinet position. <laughs> Councilor Halila Sudagar of the Dabo City Council. Deputy Mayor Ismail Mike Nakan Al Haj and other Deputy Mayor <laughs> Ali Muhammad Yusuf Pasigan, the Regional Mufti of Davao Region, <laughs> Director Alim Jamal Munib of the Madrasa Schools. Director Alim Alaksaman Bangkola. Bangun Mindanao Founder, <laughs> Sheikh Abdul Razak Sidik, Kapayapaan Peace Center Founding Chairman, <laughs> my Muslim brothers and sisters, fellow workers in government, my beloved countrymen. You might be surprised that uh, there are only about three, four, or five Muslims would be occupying a cabinet position. Alam mo kasi, ganito yan, we are trying to do a framework. And uh, if I succeed in convincing everybody in Mindanao, if I could convince my MILF brothers and nor Miswari of the MN, there will be a reconfiguration of the territory. And most of them <laughs> will occupy the regional or state positions. Mahirap na kasi na maumpisan because I foresee that uh, towards the end of the year, we'll be able to come up with a framework kung paano gawin ang federalism. But, if the Filipino nation in a plebiscite would not want it, then uh, I am ready to concede whatever is there in the BBA law. We will see to it that it will pass. And also, in fairness to Noor, we might also configure his territory of the Tausug nation. Then we will have a new boundaries, and this boundaries does not really intended to separate our brother more from the Christian. Rather, it is intended only to delineate territories, but that should not keep us apart from being Mindanaoans. For you know, you must realize that most of the Christians here in Mindanao, your brother Christians, 
are supporting the federalism and the BBL. So, natanggapin natin sa isa't ita, let us build a nation that will be founded on peace and understanding. Ang tingin ko, with the, with the grace of Allah, I might be able to do this uh, within the six years. It will not come overnight. Certainly, it will not come next year. Probably, it would be something about two to three years from now. But I assure you that something will change before I end my term. So, yung mga kapatid kong MI, a promise is a promise. Ang my, my word of order is something which I value very much. Kaya ako, pag nagbitaw ng salita, yun na yun. At hindi ko na pinapalitan. So, these are the things that we have to work in on our aspirations. I do not think that there will be another chance for uh, the Mindanaoans to expect a change kung pag ako. It might be for a long time again. Baka mahintayin pa kung si Omar yung anak ko maging presidente na naman. And that is... Uh, he is a devoted, uh, devout, uh, moro, a Muslim. He goes to the mga muski to pray, and I like it. I like religious people, especially my grandchildren. Now, <clears throat> having said that, I'd like to, you know, talk about uh, our problems that uh, bedevils our country. Alam mo na wala ang talaga ang bilib ng tao sa gobyerno. I, I'm not saying na nandyan na sa akin. Uh, it remains to be seen kung paano natin uh, ay, ay, ano natin ay, 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 ay mabigyan ng lunas ang problema. May I ask everybody, I have the list it includes uh, police generals, nandoon yung mga municipal and city mayors, meron ring nandito sa Mindanao, may mga maranao sa listahan, may mga bisaya, marami, may kuratong baliling hanggang ngayon. Ang napagtataka ako, Riskoratong baliling sa usamis. They've been in the pain in the ass ka nga sa Pilipino. Hindi na nahinto-hinto yung kalukuhan ng mga nag-retire ng mga sundalo. Sa gobyerno, ano't anong pinapasukan. Kidnapping, sa droga, sa lahat. You know, Ang panahon ay hindi palabing ganon. Uh, there is God who will maybe punish you one of these days. Pero sa panahon ko, hindi ako Diyos, I'm just an ordinary mortal. I'm just a follower of Allah. But I take His cue. You know, I studied in uh, Catholic schools, but it doesn't to speak that I, I'm not a Christian, actually. I believe in God. Only Allah. Nobody else. Nobody else. Only one God. Alam ninyo yan. Kung nakikisama lang ako, it's because I'm a politician. But, you know, and by the way. Eh, kung saan ka nandoon, uh, eh, kung anong simbahan ka na timingan sa program, di doon ka. Pero alam ng lahat na uh, terribly disappointed also with some of the other set. Kaya ko sila binigwasan eh. 
Ako lang ang tao na nag-insulto ng mga bisya pati. Eh, mga tarantado kasi pati. Kikialam ko ulit. Tsaka ako lang ang lahat. Timidia. Boykot-boykot daw sila. Di, binoykot ko sila. Di wala na. Eh, kayo eh. Eh, pati ngayon, itong mga military generals, uh, I am not condemning them. They deserve an investigation. But I cannot wait. My oath of office, when I say, so help me, God, I have this own duty to let you know kung ano ang nangyayari sa ating bayan. So these are the things that I have to do because... I'm the president. In like manner, when I was mayor, I said, there are things which I have to do because nobody would do it for us except ako. Na kung ayaw ninyo, ako ang ihirit. Sulok at nabaw. Wala namang pinatawa dito. Mawaray, maranaw, ilunggo, Basta dito, pantay-pantay. And everybody is answerable to the Lord. <laughs> Yan ang utos ni Allah. Do not do wrong to your fellow men. And you treat everybody equal. In the eyes of Allah, we are all equal. So, ganun ang nangyari. And I have still a... So, but ang, ang aking centerpiece talaga, I'm working overtime with John Ivasco and the rest uh, for uh, to constitute. Ready na kami sa aming group sa gobyerno to talk to the MIMN. I might travel to Hulo. Huwag sana lang akong i-kidnap ng abusap. Wala naman akong pera maibigay sa kanila. Di, diritso putol na lang para I have, I have to go to Hulu to talk to Nur and uh, maybe I'll order the military to just let him uh, just for a while for him to move around Mindanao to get a consensus amongst the followers of MN and uh, we would be ready simultaneous ang ating usapan sa MIN but I said I assure you that uh, if there is no federalism, kung ayaw talaga ng the rest of the country, well, then I said, what you give to the MI must be given to the MN. Kasi pareho lang. And hope that we can have peace in the land. Others, uh, marami akong plano sa ating bayan, but I have to clean up uh, and you know, see, Jane and the others, even before the campaign, I was so stressing, corruption must stop. Corruption must stop. At lahat yung mainibigay ng gobyerno para sa tao, kailangan dumating sa tao. Now, I would like you to know that sa Cotabato, sa ARM region, is the highest incidence of hunger. So, dyan ako magbuhos ng lahat tulong pagkain, pati yung nutrition sa mga bata. Awa ko mga bata. Because that is what the, uh, the men on the ground, yun nagsasurvey, na the highest incidence is in Mindanao. And ka, mas, ano, mas profound ang, ang hunger sa, dito sa ating banda, including Davao. So, ang ano ko muna is uh, a national feeding program. Mabutit na lang, nandito itong mga left. Ang gobyerno ko kasi, nandyan lahat. May mga left, mga komunista, may mga right. Eh, halo-halo, para isang usapan lang. And this is as good as any other time, if I may just suggest to the Communist Party of the Philippines media to refrain from you know uh, mga ambos ambos pati patayan anyway we are talking 
Eh, kita pinigyan nga tayo ng uh, very good example ni Brother Murad na in spite of the non-passage of the BBL, walang gumalaw and nor is also just uh, having a stand down somewhere in Hulu. Para maano natin, ito ano muna natin itong pag-kidnap-kidnap ng mga sundalo kasi Oh, wala naman silbi yan. Uh, so that we can talk properly without the rumblings of uh, yung paghinakit. Kasi hindi naman maaari na ang military will just keep silent when all of their men are being kidnapped and killed in a while you are in the process of perfecting uh, the wherewithals of how to proceed with the uh, peace talks. Alam ho ninyo, We are a nation. We are all brothers and sisters by blood. About the only time nagkagulo itong bayan natin, eh, kasi si Magellan pumunta dito in 1521, bringing with him Christianity. I have nothing against religion. Pero iniwan na sala ng gago ng religion na doon sa Espanya. Bakit ba sa dadala-dala dito? When, kagaya ng Mindanao, it was ahead by almost 100 years na isa naman. Sila na po na po, Muslim na nga. And you know, by force of arms, because there was gunpowder. Wala kasi ang um, kita, di mali race tayo. Wala naman tayong mga gunpowder, mga, mga kanyon, ang the canons of the day. We were ignorant about that. So, we were just... Ngayon, over decades, by force, naging Christians yung mga Malay brothers ninyo, natin, noon sa Visayas. Ano. So, it was a religion that was drum down their troops and how how you know how the Spaniards are very cruel at the time so let us take that as a footnote of our history to understand each other buti sana kung yung at sa Visayas eh, mga Russian doon o tayo dito Malaysia na yan patayan talaga hindi yeah, pwede yung ganun for the fact that Before the coming of religion, we were all natives of this, ano, the sultanates of somehow, mga dato-dato. Then it, because of colonialism. And that is what is happening in the Middle East. Ayaw na mag-admita itong Britain, pati America. They forced their way to Iraq and killed Saddam. Look at Iraq now. Look what happened to Libya. Look what happened to Syria. Putat na uubos ang tao doon pati bata binumbuman ng gasolina ng because of they were pushed to the wall for the failed promises. Kaya sabi ko, I am not including Abu Sayyaf. Dito sa criminality. You have never heard me say mga criminal. It is, in a, it is a different set up there because these are the guys who are driven to desperation. Wala na nga from nor, alam ko yan, from nor to the arm, there was no sufficient, sufficient semblance of governance. And that is why they were pushed to the wall. Then they became radicalized. That's what happened in the Middle East. It is not that the Middle East is exporting terrorism to America. America imported terrorism. Sila yung deportation. Sinira nila ang Middle East. Sino ba naman yung si Saddam? What does one dictator? But he was in firm control of the country. And now that it turned out that after the investigation, you must have uh, heard it over uh, BBC, 
After a thorough, almost 10 years investigation, it turned out there was no legal basis to declare war against Iraq. Kita mo ngayon. That's why it's, it's a useless war. As a nation, we must seek avenue. Bakit tayo magpataya? Magnegosyo na lang tayo. Lahat, eh, total, ang mga maranaw, dumating na sa ar, doon sa abra. At I believe ako talaga mga, anywhere in the Philippines. Hmm. Eh, basta may marinig. Dibidi, dibidi. Oh, wala na. Maranaw to, no? nandito mga maranaw, nandito. And they were the very enthusiastic. Uh, pasalamat naman ako. And to them I say, uh, uh, I love you, sukran. Siya sa side dog mismo, magpasagasa na lang sa mga sakyan namin para lang makalamano. And uh, the love that they have shown, the filial brotherhood instinct really came out. And uh, I love them all. And may Allah give them the abundance of life there. Sila lang yung nandoon. Talagang ano sila. Halos uh, just to earn a living. And it is all right for them to be anywhere or everywhere because they are Filipinos and they own this country. <laughs> Lahat tayo dito at ating bayan to. So although religion is a very sensitive issue, let, it, let us not really uh, do something that will uh, uh, inflame or uh, agitate trouble about religion. We all believe in the same God. I, I said Allah has blessed us with so many things. There is a temporary lull in uh, the violence in Mindanao. Give me a chance to perfect an arrangement, and I will be happy. So, it's the end of Ramadan, and uh, we will feel great after uh, so many nights of uh, uh, praying, and, and daytime fasting, uh, just to make us realize how important the existence of man in this planet is. So let us respect each other. Let us talk before uh, doing anything that would uh, spin a violence. It is not good. Total nandito lang naman ako. Alam naman ninyo kung sino ako. Although my lola came from a humble beginnings, pero alam ninyo. So with that small string of bandages, medyo maliit na, manipis the bandages to you. Let me use it as uh, a bridge, uh, not only between Christians and uh, no, no. Let me use it as a bridge for all, for to be happy in this world and to the things that Allah wanted us to do, to do good and to believe in Him and to live according to the rules of the Great Almighty. Paraming salamat po. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Maraming salamat. Okay, so... Okay, so let's proceed to the closing prayer, closing invocation. But after this, picture opportunities will follow. We now call on...